Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on uh, what we like to call Gray Matters. Anything of interest to uh, us folks with gray hair. Art and I have a topic today that we want to discuss with you. It's pretty important. Mm. Uh, it's financial matters. It's investments, really. And uh, Art, I think it's fair to say that you and I are kind of investment buddies. We talk about stocks. We share ideas. Uh, yeah. We don't invest together, but um, we have many of the same stocks, and we we uh, we're good advisors for each other. We bounce off each other. Is that yeah, fair to say? We're we're sort of our own uh, Dr. Google to one another. Uh, we I, actually we do have somewhat different investment philosophies, but we have uh, right. think about stocks in the same way and other yep. investments. And really what I think the message today is that if you think you had it all put together 10 years ago and you had a financial advisor, things constantly change and probably it pays, you know, with the stock is in general, even though we've had some setback going up, 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 our IRAs are going up, 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 our distributions are going more, 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 more. But I remember having gotten burned in the 90s a couple of times and it went, not only did it go down, 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 but it went oh. down. Yeah, it's some so, very painful days in the 90s. So I, yeah. I remember a lot of that. I'm, and I'm probably a little bit more, in a lot of things, much more uh, risky, uh, you know, doing new things than you, John. But in the stock market, I'm almost totally risk adverse. Yeah, yeah. I think the important message for, for you folks is that Art and I have been doing this for quite a while. Mm -hmm. We manage our own investments. Um, and we want you to make sure that you're safe. Yeah. Whatever money, whatever nest egg you have put aside, if you can make it grow, that's the ideal thing. But at the very least, stay safe so you don't lose money. And one of the tricks that we use, it's tried and true old advice is, invest in something that pays a dividend. Right. So it's growing, at least the dividend is growing every year, money comes in. As opposed to, I don't know, the price of the stock going up. You can't can't always count on a stock doubling in price. Right. But you can always count on a dividend with the right kind of company. Yeah, so that's I, one. Yeah, and basically what I've done uh, is I've uh, uh, researched stocks that are, they have various names, but uh, like dividend aristocrats, stocks that are well-known on major exchanges uh, yes. that pay consistent dividends. In fact, some of them just increase, even if it's by a few pennies a share for the last 20 years. Okay, they're yeah. really solid companies. And even some of them, by the way, will run into trouble, but the chances of them, you know, having been around that long that are invested in by so many institutions because if they want to get reelected to the board and they want to keep running their companies, uh, they better keep that um, uh, dividend coming in. So for the most part, they're uh, the dividend aristocrats and some other names they have for them. And in fact, there are even funds that basically only have those kind of stocks in there. Sure. And they yield four and five percent uh, on a really consistent basis. Uh, never much more, never much less, but they're pretty consistent. And that's yeah. sort of where my world is. Although bonds now, and I do have bonds and cash and settlement accounts that yield four and five percent. So uh, I've got a lot of money in cash because I worry about a crash. Yeah. Well, bonds is another category mm -hmm. other than stocks. Um, but there's oil wells, there's real estate, there's all kinds of stuff right. that could pay you uh, money, that could earn money for you. On a consistent and basis. That, you ought to consider all of them. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, the other piece of advice we wanted to share is that you really can't do this on your own. Uh, Art and I are share and bounce off ideas of each other, but we're constantly reading uh, analyses. I, I subscribe to a bunch of newsletters who are supposed to be experts, you know, mm. and they've got plenty of opinions about uh, everything. And you, you've got to do your own, you got to be your own boss, yeah. even if somebody is managing your 401k or your IRA for you, you really have to stay on top of it and look at what they're doing and make sure that it's right for you. Yeah, and if you're, by the way, if you have an investment account with, uh, uh, and I don't care whether it's Fidelity or Schwab or any one of a half a dozen other uh, uh, major, or even if it's a minor one, if you have one that you, every so often it, it's 
be good to go to an advisor and they, they're going to try to have them manage it for you, but they'll give you a picture of what your portfolio maybe should look like. And you don't have to have them manage it for you, but uh, maybe every five or 10 years, sit down with them and get their picture because they base it on your longevity. And then even though most of us think we're going to live forever, at least I am, John, John is more realistic than I am. Uh, I have a 25 year rolling plan just in case I think that I didn't know. So I, I've got to have my money last forever. Uh, but they'll, based on actuarial tables and what have you, they'll say, hey, look, this is what you have. And uh, if the stock market goes steady or this or that, this is what you'll have because your expenses don't go down. Maybe you pay off your house at some point, but you get a, a car, you have your utilities and, and other medical insurance and things like that. So right. it's good to get a review from an outside professional. And some people will, will actually hire what they call certified financial professionals. Uh, you see them advertised all over the place where they can't yeah. sell you anything. All they can do is manage your money for a fee, manage your estate. And John and I right. actually looked into that and we interviewed some people who do that. Sure. We, we've done a lot of videos with people who are good investment advisors. You ought to look at them on Celebrating Act Two. Art, what I, my mind, uh, I, I can't think of the word for the invest, investment advisor who is dedicated to your best interest. What would there's that's a name that, for that? That's a, uh, the uh, certified financial planner. Are they advertised all over TV? Uh, no, are you, are you certified financial an individual, planner is something different. An individual, a fidu fiduciary. A fiduciary. That's the word. Hmm. Make sure you find a fiduciary. Yeah. If you need, if you have having somebody do your investments for you, make sure they are a fiduciary, which means that legally they are dedicated to your best interest, not you, not theirs, not right. selling you something. Yeah, and they so, they generally work for a fixed percentage, or uh, some of them advertise. You know, when you do better, maybe their percentage goes up a little bit. When you, the market goes down, they get a little bit less. Some actually advertise that way. So Sure. But the important thing is, is that their their, all their decisions, all their advice for you has to be in your best interest. Yeah. So, John, let, uh, why don't we leave, a, leave our audience with this? If everything is going great, congratulations. Your money's coming in. But yeah. but if you haven't looked at it or uh, with a third party or a thought about it, uh, you should right. really keep on top of it and uh, maybe every several years uh, go to somebody, even if you pay them a couple hundred bucks to review yourself and let them make a pitch yep. that they'll be your advisor and they'll give you some sense of, of, you know, you're getting older now. Maybe you should put money, more money in fixed income and, and because it's always recommended you do that because even though you sure. get let's let's say you you were big in a, a stock that like Nvidia that just skyrocketed well that could come back down well they probably won't but uh, they'll probably advise you hey look you've got another 10 15 years in front of you you probably wouldn't want to be in, in highly speculative stuff now you probably know that but it's a good to have somebody take a look at it and say hey you know what you're getting older now and you yeah. need more fixed income so anyway whatever it is it's not going to be like it was five years ago it's probably going to continue to change. Take care of yourself. Don't get complacent. Don't get complacent. Find a good advisor you can trust. Diversify so that you have, and, and look for income. Don't just invest. Mm. Look for income. And best of luck to you. We want you to guys to live a long, long time and have all your money there when you die. Oh, well, well, no. Name us and you will. Oh, okay. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.